time for transformations. A transformation is a way of moving a figure. That figure could be a shape or a picture. There are three types of transformations. Translations, reflections, or rotations. The most important thing to remember about transformations is that the size and shape does not change. To help us learn about transformations, let's meet Charlie the Transformer. Hello everybody. The first transformation is called a translation and it's a sliding movement. It's easy to remember because translation has an SL and so does the word sliding. For a translation, a figure can be moved to the left, to the right, up, down, or diagonally. Let's look at an example. Which picture shows a translation? So the first one for A, it does look like it slides, but remember what was so important? It can't change size, and it looks like the flowers got bigger. For B, it slid over a little bit, but it flipped upside down. C, it looks like all it did is slid down, so that would be a translation. D, again, it slid, but then it just flipped itself over. So our answer is C. The next transformation is called a reflection. A reflection is a mirror image or a flip across a line. This one you can remember by the F in reflection. It's the same like the FL in flip. Okay, Charlie, let's show him that flip. And that flip was over a line that was going straight up and down, which is called vertical. Let's look at what happens when the line is going straight across or horizontal. Thanks, Charlie. It almost looks as though this first image was drawn and colored with wet paint. And then we folded it over this line. And then you look for how the wet paint would end up on the other side. Let's look at an example of the reflections. Which picture shows a single reflection of the figures across line T? Okay. For A, the rabbit is standing up, but then when he flips across the line, he turns around to his side. So that can't be right. For B, the elephant is standing up, and then he flips across the line. So let's imagine the elephant was drawn with wet paint. His head is over here, and about this far from the line. On the other side, if this were to fold over, his head is over here, right across from it, and about the same distance from that line. So then B is definitely a reflection. C, I know what this is. The giraffe slid diagonally. That's a translation, not a reflection. And then for D, the turtle, he seems to have flipped, but he flipped upside down. If his head was over here and he was drawn with wet paint, his head would have ended up up here, not upside down. Our last transformation is a rotation. A rotation is a turning movement around a point. So think about that T in rotation, and T starts the word turning. Rotations are almost as though you tie a string around your object, and then you tie it to the circle, and then you swing your object around. Let's see it, Charlie. Hello. He went to the top of the circle. Let's see if he could go any further. So the object can really go all the way around the circle as far as it wants. Let's look at this example. Which picture shows a rotation around point B? So we're looking for that turning point. For A, it just slid right over there. 
Well, slide is a translation, so it can't be A. B, if I were to rotate it around point P, these can be tricky. So what I want to do, since our shape is kind of complicated, I notice it has a stripe and a diamond. So pick one thing that you notice about your shape and follow that part for when it rotates. So if I have that and I tie my string to the object and I swing it around this way, that diamond and stripe should have been on the top. So that means that is not a rotation. For C, if I take my point and I tie a string to my object and then I swing it over, that stripe and diamond seem to be in the right spot and they're the same distance away, so my answer must be C. For D, let's take a look at this zigzag part. If I tied it to my point and then I rotated it this way, the zigzag part would be right here. So our answer is definitely C. Okay, you are ready to do some transformations.